our heartly greetings to whomever watching this video before we begin let me introduce myself and my teammates myself vivek h and my teammates are uday kumar v venkatram reddy pa harsha k holding the id project id road gen 24 proudly presenting you design and development of self balancing mini electric scooter with ft wheels it is immense pressure to be the part of avishka and hope to do justice for giving this opportunity thank you one and all without further ado let's quickly get into this presentation Stop. moving on to the next slide that is abstract of our project our project is battery operated vehicle it can be driven comfortably with the help of streamlined design of the body it has a compact structure and aesthetic shape some modification and improvement done in the design to increase the power and efficiency slide that is introduction to our project a electric scooter is a battery operated one person capacity vehicle that is especially designed for the people with low mobility scooters are available in three common designs that are indoor use outdoor use and the both use a typical electric scooter requires a pair of battery where the batteries can be chargeable project r to design and development of a self balancing mini electric scooter with hefty wheels to design the electric scooter to implement the hub motor to conduct the various test and on the scooter and check the efficiency of the scooter now moving on to the methodology in methodology we have design analysis fabrication te in testing and inspection and overall final inspection on overall performance of the vehicle in design the cad modeling using the solid work software and optimizing the design and few and calculations coming to the analysis the analysis of the chassis frame for the impact dynamic and static using the ansys software optimizing of the analysis coming to the fabrication procurements of the material as per the builds of the materials fabrication of the tubular frame using a tig or mig welding or also using a rivets or that bolts and nuts final assembly of the chassis testing and the inspection for the performance and efficiency of the hub motor practical check for the impact test on the chassis check for the performance of the controller and program for the hub motor and battery and finally its final inspection of overall performance of the vehicle electronic components firstly is a hub motor you can see the picture of the hub motor in this slide it is the main part of the transmission it acts as a engine of the vehicle it has a 48 volts 800 watt capacity the wheel dimension is about 10 inch in dia and 130 mm in weight the wheel contains the hall sensor and bldc motor in the wheel and these things are con uh, connected to the controller controller we can see the pick of the controller which are used in our project it acts as the brain of the human body it controls the overall system such as power regulation hall sensors speed throttle pass bldc motor reverse of the vehicle cruise and so on it can be programmed to control the overall speed of the vehicle its specifications are 48 volt our next part is thumb throttle throttle is nothing but an electronic throttle control it is an automobile technology with electronically connects the accelerator pedal to the throttle replacing the mechanical linkage a typical electronic throttle control system consists of a three major components that are an accelerator pedal module second one is a throttle valve that can open and close by electronic motor third one is a power train or a engine control module in throttle we have two types of throttle mainly 
uh, hand throttle and thumb throttle. In our project, we have been used thumb throttle. Here in this thumb throttle, we have also have the battery voltage indication. Component is LED display. It is a so informatic for the driver. In this display, we can see odometer, cruise, timer, trip, sp uh, speed control, battery level and so on. Next component is battery. It acts as the fuel of the vehicle. Here we have we used four dry lead acid battery which are rechargeable. Of each one is 12 volts 24 AH which can run the vehicle up to 40 to 50 kilometers. The batteries are uh, connected series, series to obtain the 48 volts. The power supply is directly connected to the controller of the vehicle. From there, where each component get the power supply. Now coming upon raw materials. We have used raw materials as the mild steel. Mild steel also known as the plain carbon steel and low carbon steel is now the most common form of the steel because its price is relatively low while it provides the material properties that are acceptable for many applications. In our project, we have used one 3 by 4 inch pipe and one inch pipe. Both the pipes are having a uh, 3 mm thickness. One 3 by 4 inch pipe is used as the sidebar and one inch pipe is used for the handlebar. We also use the sheet metal for the deck part and it, uh, we have used as the battery cover also. Where in the deck part, all the controllers, wire system and batteries are kept inside. The result of our project. The purpose of this project is to fabricate the single one side cantilever handbar. Because of this, it increases the stability of the vehicle and maneuverability of the vehicle on the road. Tubular, chassis, tu tubular frame chassis. In this, it increases the strength and rigidity and improves the vehicle performance and also to reduce the complexity and the manufacturing cost. Third one is hub motor. By using the hub motor, it increases the power transmission and also loss of power reduction in absence of chain driven system. Social relevance. First is efficiency. In normal DC motor, if we use, we have an extra part that is chain driven system or a belt driven system. When we use chain driven system or a belt driven system, for each link uh, there will be a power loss. Whereas when we use the hub motor, uh, we have the better efficiency. In normal DC motor, if we use, there will be a chances of jumping of the chain. But in the hub motor, there is no chain at all. Second one is cost of fuel. In cost of fuel, as per the uh, Karnataka government, for one unit of the electricity is around 7 rupees. Whereas for one liter of petrol is 78 rupees. For this battery system, when we charge, it may use us around 5 to 10 uh, units for a day. That is nothing but a uh, 70 to 80 rupees. For the petrol, uh, we need around uh, per day, it's uh, almost 10 liters of petrol, around uh, 700 uh, rupees. It's almost to 1 is to 10 ratios. So, in our project is very less of cost of fuel. Next one is weight. When we use the normal vehicles where we have IC engines, there will be a lot of components where it weighs more, especially the engine part is very more. Compared to the electric vehicles, the weight is very less when we compare to the normal vehicle. Carbon emission. In carbon emission, the electric vehicles reach as zero approach, whereas in normal IC engine vehicles, the carbon emission will be more and more. Next one is renewable energy. Uh, in IC engines, we use non-renewable energy where it may lead to another uh, 20 to 25 years. We may, we may not see the 
uh, no, no, non-renewable energy whereas the power electricity are renewable energy and last one is maintenance maintenance of the electric vehicles are very easy and handy too uh, whereas in IC engines the maintenance cost will be uh, more and more and we have to be doing service we, uh, repeatedly for um, uh, almost a month Now coming up to the conclusion, use of the hub motor is more efficient than normal DC motor with chain driven. Use of electric vehicles are most effective and environmental friendly too. Enhanced battery can be used for the weight reduction leading to the better control, stability and pickup. Modification of the current electric scooter can be done to participate in future design and fabrication projects and challenges. The practical knowledge gained can be utilized for the future research on automobiles and electric vehicles. Finally, it would be concluded that the frame is safe and its cost is very low as compared to other frame due to its frame design. Coming up to the next slide is future scope. The future scope of our project are the durability and convenience to the consumer can improve by using this type of vehicle. Many of the softwares like Advisor, Simulink, MATLAB can be used for the analysis in the design for the vehicle more suitable for any region. In one vehicle can save about uh, average 30% of petrol than an average about 40 to 60 of national fuel can be conserved by using this type of vehicle. Also, electric bill can be saved as the batteries last length per charge. Moving to the next slide is targeted users. Our project mainly can be used in like big big plants of thermal plants, oil plants and so on, where supervisors can inspect the individual section of the plant. In IT companies, tech paths and so on can be used as the local traveling inside the paths like security office, canteens and different buildings. In inside the universities like VTU or Bangalore can be used for traveling for different departments. Next slide is about our references. These are the four uh, re references where we try to implement on our project. It is an immense pleasure to be part of Avishkar. We heartily thank our talent and giving us a platform to exhibit our talent. I hope we have done justice. Thank you.